He's going to turn some things in your life over this next six months. I, I'm prophesying that. God's going to turn some things in your life over this next six months. Rapid repositioning. That means it's going to happen just like that. You're going to reposition some things. Some things in your life that has been out of order, God's going to reposition it for you. And it ain't going to take all day for it to happen. It's going to happen like this. It's, oh, God. Oh, God. I hear you. You remember the Bible said when, when, when Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises and suddenly. Suddenly. It's going to happen just suddenly. You're going to be, oh God, I hear you. You're going to be, you're going to be in one moment and then suddenly something's going to happen. Yes, God. Oh my God. From tonight forward, I need you to raise your level of expectation. Yes. Yeah. And anticipation. Yes, God. Are you okay, okay, let me ask you all this question. Let me bring it, let me bring it, let me bring it to reality. Watch this. How many of you have ever been uh how many of you have ever done your taxes? Raise your hand. Come on. Right, right, right. And then they told you after you've done your taxes that you're gonna get your check a certain date. What you start doing? You start what? Looking for it. You start waiting for it. The closer the day gets, you start getting antsy about it. Because you already know what you're going to do with it. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. God says if you can raise your level of expectation, your anticipation, what you are looking for is getting ready to come right to your door. It's going to happen suddenly. Accelerate it at, oh God, I told y'all, I'm already experiencing these answers. I know that's right. I'm already living in this season yeah. where my answers are coming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, yeah. maybe it's just me, God. Yeah. New roads. New roads. God's, 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 God's putting new roads in your life. Yes, he is. New roads, meaning new doors are opening. Yes, God. Yes, God. New doors are opening. Yes, God. New avenues, new opportunities are yes, coming God. your way. Yes, God. I wish, oh God, I wish I had believed in Touch yourself yes, and say, God. new roads are coming in my life. Roads are coming in new, opportunities. new opportunities. Come on. Opportunities. You, if you say it, it will happen. It's coming in my life. New roads, new opportunities, new doors are opening. God's bringing new people in my life. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. He says, he says, new rivers. New rivers means, means that there's a flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a flow that's coming into my life. Yes, it is. And rivers continue to flow. Right. Because the strings run into Jesus. Rivers continues to flow. Yes. Watch this. No matter how much weight is on that river. That's right. Because God is going to continue to flow. I'm going to tell somebody in this room, there's a river coming in your life. There's a new river. There's a new flow. There's a new flow coming in my life. And the new flow that's coming in my life, the new river that's coming in my life, is different than my new stream of income. Amen. He said, I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you what I told you Je uh, December 31st, what the Lord said to me. Where we were going to live at this year. Yes. And I'm here to tell you, if you have not experienced it in your first six months, oh, buddy, get ready for this next six months. Come on. Yes. Sure as I'm standing in this room yes. tonight. I'm here to tell you that it's coming. Yes. Oh, I wish I had somebody lift your hands and receive it. Yes. Receive it, receive it. Yes. Here's, 
what he's asked us to do. And I told you this. He says, as we meet him at his throne, yes. also known as the mercy seat, also we now call it in the church the altar. As we meet God, yes. as we, we experience God, yes. what's going to happen is, is earth and heaven will meet. Yes. And supernatural and, and natural and supernatural will collide in his presence. Mm. Yes, yes God. Can I tell you, if you were here Sunday, this is what happened to us yes, on Sunday. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This is what happened to us on Sunday. Amen. Heaven yes. met us in the room on Sunday. Yes, it is. In his presence. Oh, God. Oh, God. His presence was strong. Yes, it was. Why? Because his people were hungry. Yes. Yes. The one thing I know about God is uh, God doesn't allow his people to go hungry for long. Right. <laughs> the Bible said, I'll prove it to you. The Bible said when the multitude finished following Jesus, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus had to feed them. Yes. He didn't let them go hungry for long, y'all. Right. He fed them. Yes. Right. So whatever your hunger is, yes. remember I told you to write it on this paper? Whatever your hunger is, he's getting ready to feed your hunger. I'm your Lord. She will. Yes, Lord. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Yes. But we've got to do this. We've got to pray without ceasing. I need your prayer lives to go to another place in this room. That's right. Listen to me. Listen Amen. to me careful. This next six months, you cannot pray the way you did the first six months. All right. There's got to be an intensity yes. with your prayer. Yes, God. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Your prayer life has to intensify in this next six months. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 yes, oh. Lord. Let me say it again. Your prayer life over this next six months has to intensify. Yes. It's got to increase. Yes. Second thing we got to do over this next six months is you got to learn, you got to work. Mm. Over this next six months, you need to ask God, God, what area are you calling me to? Yes. In ministry work. Right. I got to work. Because right. he said you got to work while it is day. There's a season now where we got to work. What does that work mean? We gotta get out there to hedges and houses. Yes. Yes. You gotta ask God now to start putting people in your in your space. Right. So that you can minister, so that you can witness. Amen. You gotta work. No, Next thing we gotta do is we gotta, there's gotta be such a love. Mm. Now, 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 when I talk about this word love, it's an unconditional love. Listen, I'm tired of phony love, y'all. I know yeah. that's right. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Either you're going to love me or you're not going to love me. No middle ground. Yes, God. No middle ground. You're right. Love. We got to love one another. Yes. Like never before. And I know we talk about that in the church all the time. We talk about, oh, we got to love one another. Oh, I love. No, 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 no. Unconditionally. Yes, God. That means I got to love you in spite of how I feel about you. Absolutely. And love does not mean I got to love you and still treat you differently or wrong. I got to treat you the way God wants me to treat you. Amen. So that means I got to go do what, what we've been talking about. If I got to go forgive you to love you, I better get it right. Amen. Then he told us, he says, he says we got to live in him. Mm. got to live in the spirit. Now, now I know, I know, because we, you know, we, we come from churches and we come from backgrounds where they told us, oh, you so, you so heavenly minded, you're no earthly good. <laughs> oh, you always got your head in the cloud. Oh, you always this. Listen, listen. The Bible says it's in him that I live. Yes. In him that I move. Yes. It's in him that I have my being. Yes. See, I'm safe as long as I'm in him. Yes. I'm in trouble when I'm no longer in yeah, him. Yeah, yes, God. When I'm in my flesh. I'm in trouble. Yes, Because my flesh is liable to do anything. Amen. My flesh is liable to say anything. Yes. 
Oh, God, y'all looking at me straight. Come on, y'all tell the truth. Your flesh will get you in trouble. Because people get on your nerve in the flesh. And so, and so, and so, no good thing dwells in this flesh. And so, if, I, if I'm living in him, it's in him that I live, it's in him that I move, it's in him that I have my being. I got to walk in the spirit and not walk in the flesh. Because if I'm living in my flesh, Every little thing hurts my feelings. Amen. If I'm living in my flesh, everything upsets me. Amen. If I'm living in my flesh, I can be no, no good to God in my flesh. Right. Yes, God. So we got to live in him. Then he told us that we must minister. I mean, we must move in him or move in the spirit. Listen, stop sitting on your gifts, people of God. You hear God talking to you. You hear God ministering to you. Get up and move. Stop sitting on your hands. Amen. Stop sitting in the back waiting for other people to do things. Get up and do what the Lord is telling you to do. Because what I found out is this. God ain't going to ask you at the end of this what you, why you didn't do what he told you to do. That's right. And you give them an excuse because they wouldn't let me. That, but that ain't no excuse. Amen. What did I tell you to do? Amen. They didn't create you. I created you. Amen. Oh, good Amen. God. I wish I had a way to spread and so you're sitting on your gifts and your talents and your anointings because you're waiting for somebody to validate you. I hear God. You don't need nobody to validate you. He's validated you. Yes, God. He called you. He anointed you. He purposed you. And now it's time for you to get up and do what he tells you to do. Yes, God. Now, yes, there is order. There is order in church. There's order to things. There is a structure. But at the end of the day, if God told you to go out on the street and do witnessing, Get out and go on the street. Yes. You don't need a piece of paper. You don't need right. listen. Come on, y'all. Yes, you don't need a crowd. Amen. All you need to do is what, what does the Lord say? Yes, go. Because whether you know it or not, the Bible says all oh, disobedience. Mm. How much of it? All of it. All of it. Jesus. So stop waiting for people. Oh, they won't validate me. They won't tell me I'm, I'm perfect. Or they won't tell me I'm good. They won't, they won't tell me I'm anointed. Baby, you better tell yourself you're anointed. Because for, before anybody else ever tell you, you better know that you're anointed. You better know that you're gifted for this. You better know that this is, this is, the, this is the, the call and anointing on your life. Because if you wait for people, people will never tell you. Help me. Yes. Help me. Amen. Especially if you're not popular. Amen. Oh, y'all, y'all quiet. Y'all quiet. Amen. Oh, y'all quiet. Amen. You ain't in the phase five. Amen. They ain't never gonna tell you. Amen. So you gotta know what's in you. Yes. You gotta know what God's called you to. Yes. Look at look at look at Joseph. Joseph had a gift. Joseph had a dream. Joseph had a vision. Joseph had purpose. But because his brothers did not value what he had. No. There's some of you uh, sitting uh, in this room uh, that people don't value what you uh, had. Uh, Holy Ghost, I feel you. They don't value the anointing on your life. They don't value the gift of God in your life. Even some of your family members, even some of your friends don't value it. But you better know who you are. Amen. Better know what you're called to. Amen. Better know what your purpose is. Yes. That's right. Because if they never call your name in public. Ah, right. If they never call your name in public, you better know who you are. Yes. If they never bring you up and give you a trophy, That's right. you better know who you are. Yes. They ain't never give you no flowers. You better know who you are. Because flowers don't make a person. Flowers that. wither. Yes. But the word, what I placed in you, what I put inside you, what I invested in you shall stay. So if you're waiting for people to give you flowers, I just told you tonight, don't worry no more. Because it ain't going to happen. That's right. You better buy your own flowers. Watch this. He said, in this season, what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to minister to the brokenhearted. That's right. To the downtrodden. Amen. To the cast aside. <coughs> to those people that are hopeless. 
to those people that seem was voted most likely to succeed. Can I tell you, this is what Jesus did? Yes, he did. Jesus witnessed to the brokenhearted, Amen. to the downtrodden, yes. to, to the ones that society cast away. I know oh, y'all don't believe me? Look at Blind Bar Mace. Look at the woman with the issue of blood. They relieved of all her money and it threw her away. Yes. I can't do nothing for you. Yes, Thank you very much. Look at me. You can look at your own self. Yes. How many people ever told you in your life that you never make it, that you never be nothing? Some say. <laughs> and the funny thing is, some of them may have never said it to your face, but they said it behind your back. Oh, absolutely. You're right. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all don't want, y'all don't want to. But I'm still. <laughs> they ain't never said it to your face, but they said it right behind your back. Yeah. And he said it to some of the very people that you call your friend. I hear you, God. Yes, Lord. Sir. You better know who you are. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We got six minutes and we, we're done. Good stuff. He says, Good stuff. we got to continue to abide in his presence. Mm -hmm. The Shekinah, yeah. which means the dwelling or the stealing of God's presence. No, 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 no. The dwelling or the stealing of God's divine presence. Yes, Can I tell y'all that there's good ready to be a glory that's coming to your life. I'm just not talking. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm prophesying right in this room right now. Yes. There's getting ready to be a glory that's coming to your life. Yes, it is. The weight of the anointing of God, the weight of His presence, yes. is getting ready to sit in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I, I will listen. Yes, 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 Lord. I've been told y'all, you got to raise your level. Yes. Hallelujah. I hope y'all get this. Oh, yes. It's getting ready to sit in your life. Yes. And, and, and the way you will know that it's sitting in your life, because there will be manifestations. Yes. There will be signs that will follow the weight on your life. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. God, I feel you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I feel you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a scripture I want to give you all. First Corinthians twelve and four. I want to give you all that tonight. Somebody have it. First Corinthians twelve and four. Now there are diversities of gifts, uh -huh. but the same spirit. There are diverse gifts, diversities of gifts. That means every one of us in this room have a different gift. Yes. Yeah. But it comes only from one spirit. Amen. Yeah. From one spirit. Yes. What does the rest of it say? Romans verse 5. And there are differences of administration uh -huh. of the same Lord. Uh huh. Difference of administration, but the same Lord. Keep going. There are diversities of operations, uh -huh. but it is the same God which work, worketh in all. Right. Keep going. And the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Uh huh. The manifestation of every manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to do what? Profit with all. To profit, profit, profit. with all. Yeah. So your gift. It's given, uh, God, from one spirit so that it can profit. That's right. To what? Oh. To who? Oh. 
your gift because there's a there's, you it must profit all it must profit all yes. yes know who you are people of God there was one more that I wanted to give you Go to, uh, say it again. Just repeating the scripture. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 7. So that ye come by one in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Read the verse before that. Read six. six. <laughs> Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, uh -huh. so that ye come behind in no Ooh. gift. Because of the testimony that is confirmed in you, he says that you come behind in no gift. So I've given gifts to everyone. Right. So that the testimony, the reason why you are gifted is because there's a testimony of Jesus Christ that's yeah. in you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're not gonna let that testimony show forth, come on, then why are you gifted? Amen. That's right. Do you know you're gifted? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know you're gifted? Why? <laughs> Give me two minutes. We're gonna tell you why you're gifted. I'm gifted in cooking. There's more in you yes. than just cooking. Yes. Yes. In fact, you are really gifted in evangelizing. Yes. And in the world, she knows what Am I right? You can talk to people about Christ yes. very easily. You know what? You like the woman with this your blood, with the woman at the well. Uh -huh. That's who you like. <laughs> come on. Because God changed you. You go tell other people, come see. Amen. <laughs> See what happened to me. I'm, you are living, breathing witness and testimony how God changed people's lives. You know why? Because you know where you came from. Yes. Oh. yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now you know you're gifted? That's real. Yes, God. That's your gift. Amen. And that right there, being able to witness to people, being able to point people to Christ, will make room for you. Yes. And bring you, the Bible says, before bring And she shall profit Because you are. You are an eyewitness. Yes. <laughs> you're not a hear, you're not a, you're not a bystander. You're not a hearsay. You're not, you're an eyewitness. Amen. In fact, all of you in this room are eyewitnesses. That's right. Because you watch God yep. change you. Yes. And my time is up. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, you know, I'm out of time. But all of you have watched God change you. Yes. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. I thank you. And he has deposited something great in each one of us in this room. Thank you, Lord. Without apologies. God doesn't apologize for what he did for us. And he will never apologize. That's right. So if you waited for, for an apology, he ain't gonna apologize. Amen. He just said, work the works of him that have sent you. That's all. Yes. There is a great anointing in this room. Yes. You know why? Because there are great people in this room. Yes. From the smallest of us to the to the to the most senior of us in this room. There's something invested inside of you. And I don't care. You can be like Abraham. You can be 100 years old. I don't care how old you are. Yes. yes. You cannot die until the promise over your life, until what God has purposed you for in this earth comes forth. Yes. Because yes. his word, his word, his word shall not return to him void. 
Nobody else is going to live out your blessing. Uh, amen. Can I prophesy my yes. There's nobody else going to live out your blessing. Amen. Your children, children's children will not live uh, out your blessing. Your blessing. Thank you, Lord. Now there's generational blessings, yes. but what God promised you, right. you're going to have before you close your eyes. Yes, Say, I will. Preacher. I feel God right Listen. there. You're going to have it before yes. you go. Listen, I, 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 I really feel like turning cartwheels mm. because I'm trying to tell y'all something. It's coming. That this second half of the year, yes. if, if as, as sure as I'm standing in this room, yes. the second half of this year yes. is going to be so great for you. Yes, God. Y'all ready? I, 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 I promise you, yes, if you Lord. can see it, you yes. can have it. Yes, sir. 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 Let me help you football people in this room. You ever see uh, uh, in the first half of the games look like your team is getting whooped the first half of the game? Dallas is getting whooped. Oh, don't talk about Dallas. I rebuke that now. Dallas ain't getting whooped. Not in the first half. Not in the first half. So, about the spirit. Listen, we might be down one point in the first half. But let me tell you, the second half is going to be better than the first half. <laughs> if you ever watch sports anyway, it seems like always the second half is better than the first half. Amen. Some of us will miss the first half. Ah, some of us will miss the first half because we know the second half is going to be it's more yes, exciting. Yes. I feel God. God says some of y'all missed the first half, but you best believe this second half is going to be more exciting. Yes, God. Oh, yes, I gotta go. I feel God. I'm about to run around this What you want? You've been, you've been waiting to get right here. You've been, I, I said, you've been waiting to get right here. Yes, Lord. That's right. All right. Okay. I feel like Christmas is coming early. <laughs> Y'all ain't excited enough. I feel that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do me a favor. We're getting ready to walk out this room. Yeah. Just look at your name and say, your second half is going to be better. 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 Yes. 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 Y
a science class. Have you ever heard of a river in a desert? That means a, a desert is a what? Dry place. The only time that looks like a river is in the desert is when it's hot and there's a mirage. Right. You think you see it. <laughs> God is saying, you ain't going to think you see it this time. It's really going to be there. Yes, God. I'm going to make a, oh, I'm going to put a river in your desert. Amen. In the driest place. In the hottest place of your life. That's right. I'm going to cause a refreshing to happen. What else to say? Is it anything? What else to say? What does it, what is verse 20 say? You got to find it. Who got it? Let me hear what verse 20 says. The beast of the field shall honor me. Woo! The what? The beast of the field. And what does the beast do? Beast normally eats you. Beast normally looks for prey. But the beast is even going to honor you. What else to say? Dragons and the owls. Ugh, come on. Because I give waters in the wilderness. I give waters and rivers in the, in the wilderness. desert. And because I gave rivers in the desert. To give drink to my people, my chosen. Not just to give drink to people, but to my chosen. Yes, yeah. go. The reason why God's going to do this is because you are chosen. Y'all yeah. come yeah, on, let's go. Yeah, That's all right, preacher. This is why he's going to do it. That's all right. Because you chosen for this. Yes, I am. You ought to text yourself and say, I'm chosen. I'm chosen. <laughs> Many are called, but few are chosen. I'm chosen for this. Good God. Yes, God. Y'all might be called, but I'm chosen for this. Yes, I am. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go. In the last verse, uh -huh. this people have I formed for myself, and yes. they shall show forth my praise. Yes. I formed you for myself, so that you can show forth my praise. Hallelujah. So in other words, I put you in this earth for me. Yes. God put us here for him yeah. so that we can show forth yeah. his praise. Yeah. That's why you ought to never come to the house of God without a praise on your lips. That's why you ought to never wake up in the morning without a praise on your lips. Because yeah. he formed us. He put us in the earth for himself. Yeah. That's right. So that he could get the praise yeah. without us. Yeah. And God didn't have to do that because the angels did it already. Yeah. But God wanted a relationship with us. Yeah. He said, my people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's all right. So angels are still trying. They're baffled, y'all. They're still yeah. trying to figure out. What is man that thou was so mindful of? Yes. 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 Hallelujah. You love them. Yes. Hallelujah. Even when they treat you bad, God, you still love them. Yes. yes. Even when they don't do what you're supposed, they're supposed to do, God, you still love us. Yes, God. Even when we fall short, as the Bible says, you still love us. You still put up with us. You still tolerate us. When we look at how you did Israel, you would cut us off. But for the mercies of God that we are not consumed, y'all. It's but for his mercies. Come on, let's lift our hands. Father, we thank you. 